adventure, romance, and mystery all await you on the Natchez Trace Parkway. This 444 mile drive takes you through some of the country's most stunning landscapes, while also immersing you in hundreds of years of history and culture. Farmers, diplomats, ladies, bandits, soldiers, and slaves travel this parkway between Natchez, Mississippi and Nashville, Tennessee. Explore a log cabin, study a swamp, honor fallen soldiers at a Civil War cemetery, and visit the place where Elvis was born. All this and more awaits you as you travel along this all-American road and National Scenic Byway. Visitors can also take advantage of the many hiking, biking, horseback riding, and camping opportunities along the way. What took past travelers days to maneuver will only take you a matter of minutes as we highlight parts of the trace. So prepare to take a unique journey from Natchez to Nashville. We begin in Natchez, Mississippi. Brawling boatmen, antebellum finery, ancient burial rituals, and the might of the Mississippi River can lure you to stay here at least a day or two. Retreat at one of the many plantations. With each room decorated in period antiques, you truly feel as if you've stepped back in time. Savor the southern charm and grandeur of these sprawling mansions. Downtown Natchez offers exciting events, a romantic atmosphere, and numerous shopping opportunities. Whether you're enjoying the walk around downtown or dining at Fat Mama's Tamales, Natchez will definitely be a stop you'll never forget. Part of what makes Natchez so important is the Mississippi River, which was historically the highway for boatmen who floated their goods down to Natchez. Unofficially, the trace begins at Natchez under the hill on the banks of the Mississippi. It's a good place to begin your journey. The Mississippi River is hypnotizing. Watch it for 10 minutes and you can sense its majesty and muscle. Just 15 miles further into your journey, you come upon one of the oldest buildings in Mississippi, dating back to 1780, Mount Locust. Trace-weary travelers would stop at inns, or stands as they were called, for a meal and some rest. Of the 50 or so primitive stands established before 1820, only Mount Locust remains. Mount Locust provides a good look at one of the most austere at best realities of trace travel. One of the most visually stunning detours off the parkway takes you to the ghostly form of an antebellum mansion. Windsor was built just before the Civil War began. The four-story home with 25 rooms and 25 fireplaces survived the war intact. In an ironic twist, however, all that remains are its ghostly columns. Another 30 miles up the trace brings you to one of the oldest towns in Mississippi, Raymond. The courthouse was built from 1857 to 1859 and is recognized by the Smithsonian as one of the 10 most perfect examples of Southern architecture in the United States. Raymond is also the site of the Battle of Raymond, part of the Vicksburg Campaign of the Civil War. A Confederate cemetery is located on the south side of town to honor those fallen soldiers. Then, journey to the brick streets of Old Town Clinton. Browse quaint antique shops, bookstores, and art galleries. Enjoy local producers' markets monthly starting each spring. Visit Mississippi College, the oldest university in the state, and the first co-ed college in America to graduate women in 1831. Tour the Nature Center and walk on an original section of the old trace. Start your tour at the Clinton Visitor Center, where the coffee is always ready. Heading north, the city of Ridgeland features many biking and hiking trails, as well as fishing and sailing opportunities. You may want to consider spending extra time in this vibrant town. Test your culinary skills in a cooking class at the Viking Culinary School. And for those who enjoy crafts, stop by the Mississippi Craft Center. Tucked in the trees of the trace, this guild showcases original folk art of Mississippi. Exhibits, books, information, and restrooms are available. Before you leave Richland, make sure to stop by the downtown area for shopping, dining, and sightseeing. 
If your idea of the Deep South is Spanish moss swaying in the breeze or mysterious swamps where alligators glide, this is where your dreams meet reality. Crossing a wooden footbridge into Cypress Swamp, you enter a watery world populated primarily by water tupelo and bald cypress trees. You can enjoy the easy walking trail in 15 minutes, or you can savor it longer. Around mile marker 160, you come to the birthplace of Oprah Winfrey, James Meredith, and other well-known people throughout history in Kosciuszko. Just 70 miles from Jackson, Kosciuszko is the geographic center of Mississippi. One of their annual events to attend is the Natchez Trace Festival occurring every April. Another stop on the journey brings you to French Camp. What began as a trading post founded by Louis Lafleur became a school for at-risk young people. The school was founded in 1822 and officially chartered in 1885. Today, it supports about 200 students in boarding and day programs. French Camp's historic district holds a 19th century bed and breakfast inn, cabins, and homemade meals at the Council House Cafe. About an hour north, take time for the Natchez Trace Visitor Center in Tupelo, Mississippi. Park rangers are available daily to answer questions and visitors can view exhibits and the park orientation film. Whether you're a fan of Elvis Presley's music or not, it's worthwhile to make a pilgrimage to his Tupelo birthplace. This attraction is staffed by knowledgeable employees who are also loyal Elvis devotees. Other notable standouts in Tupelo include the Tupelo Automobile Museum, which displays more than 100 antique and classic cars. The Tupelo Buffalo Park is home to several exotic species of animals and the largest buffalo herd this side of the Mississippi River. By driving less than five minutes off the parkway, you can enjoy the timeless beauty of the Tishomingo State Park at mile marker 305. Located in the foothills of the Appalachian Mountains, this park is full of history and scenic beauty. Named for the last great warrior chief of the Chickasaw Nation, Tishomingo has a unique landscape, with Woodall Mountain being the highest point in Mississippi. Making your way through Alabama, stop at Colbert Ferry, the ferry site itself is now gone, submerged in the Tennessee River. As you enjoy the expansive picnic area, you can contemplate the massive strength of the now dammed river and learn what it was like to try to cross it on foot or horseback 200 years ago. Collectively called the Shoals, the towns of Muscle Shoals, Tuscumbia, Sheffield, and Florence are as diverse in character as the attractions and amenities they offer. Music lovers learn about the role of Alabamians in America's music and experience the famous Muscle Shoals Sound. The Muscle Shoals Sound Studio Museum is the iconic address for music's pilgrims around the world. This was the location where the Rolling Stones, Cher, Bob Seger, Rod Stewart, and many others created some of the most popular hits of the 1970s. See the simple log cabin where W.C. Handy, father of the blues, was born. Those who seek inspiration in the life of Helen Keller visit her quaint southern home and celebrate a miracle at the annual Helen Keller Festival. You'll find scenic vistas with canyons and waterfalls. You'll discover a lively cultural scene offering art and architecture, music, parks, festivals, and fun. Whatever you seek in a vacation, you'll find it in the shows. Halfway between Tupelo and Nashville lies the town of Collinwood, Tennessee. The close location to the Trace and the town's markets, grocery stores, and restaurants make Collinwood a popular stop for anybody traveling the Trace, especially cyclists. The Wayne County Welcome Center is located in Collinwood at mile marker 355 on the Trace. Set below the parkway, Glen Rock Branch is a natural shady haven for family picnics. Adults can keep an eye on children while they explore the valley set alongside the curve of a creek framed by a high bluff. A short trail leads up to Upper Glen Rock, another great place to picnic. Take advantage of the scenic beauty of Hohenwald, Tennessee. 
with the waterfalls of Fall Hollow or the hiking trails of Meriwether Lewis Park. You won't be disappointed with these wayside stops on the trace. Milepost 385 marks the grave of Meriwether Lewis. Lewis, co-commander of the famous Lewis and Clark expedition, died at Grinder Stand in October of 1809. The circumstances surrounding his death are still debated today. In 1848, the monument you see today was erected over his gravesite. About 20 miles further up the parkway, a short hike brings you to Jackson Falls. Visitors agree the slightly challenging trek is worth it. Named after Andrew Jackson, this site rewards you with a breathtaking view of refreshing falls rippling down a high limestone bank. To enjoy a quaint, quirky, historic village, exit the parkway at Tennessee Highway 46. Leaper's Fork and the surrounding area is home to several world-famous celebrities. You can sometimes catch live music at Puckett's Grocery or an event or summer movie at the Lawn Chair Theater. Visit the beautiful stores, galleries, and restaurants that line this quaint village. People watching from a front porch rocking chair is also a favorite pastime. One of the bloodiest wars of the Civil War took place in the city of Franklin, Tennessee. Each year, thousands of tourists visit the site of the Battle of Franklin, Carnton Plantation, the Carter House, and many other historic spots throughout the city. Visitors also enjoy the beautiful 15-block historic district that offers true Southern hospitality. This great American Main Street offers 150 dining, shopping, and entertainment options. Coming towards the end of your Natchez Trace journey stands the Highway 96 Double Arch Bridge. This is the nation's first arch bridge constructed with segments of concrete. Soaring arches span a quiet valley in this breakthrough feat of engineering that has won 13 design awards. At the end of your trip, rising to meet you in the distance is the skyline of Nashville, Tennessee. But before going further, stop at the Loveless Cafe, world-renowned southern cooking found just off the north end of the trace. Nashville has live music of every genre being performed any night of the week. More than 180 recording studios and some 5,000 working musicians. Nashville is known the world over as Music City. Thank you for traveling with us through the Natchez Trace. It's as old as the South, yet it's one of the modern era's finest destinations. We encourage you to visit scenictrace.com as you create your own path through the parkway. As you travel the trace, look, listen, and experience history laid out before you. No matter how many times you make the journey, the Natchez Trace Parkway still has stories to tell.